Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to HR Topper family. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today's topic is VLOOKUP, one of the most important function in Excel and everyone should learn because every day this function is useful in your day to day life. Many people feel it is very tough, but trust me, it is one of the most important one and easiest one. Just you have to understand the concept. So I just tried to make it more simple. So let's understand what it is. It is a part of MS Office and it is an Excel function. When we use this function, when we prepare any kind of MIS reports, data analysis. Now, why we use VLOOKUP? That is what you need to understand. So I'll give you a small example to understand better. Let's go. Let's say I've just taken the simple one. Understand the concept, not the case study. Okay. I am preparing some data. My boss has told me to prepare a data. So definitely the end data will not be available in one Excel sheet. So when I am preparing, I have to get the data from other source, from other people, from other branch. So they must have sent you the data. So you have your own Excel sheet and the other information is available in another sheet. For example, in this case, I want mobile number and date of birth of this following seven people. But at present, I don't have. But yes, I have one more Excel sheet in which I have the mobile number and the date of birth available. So what is VLOOKUP? When we use VLOOKUP, when we want to extract or get the information from another source, that is another file or even the next worksheet. Suppose this is one worksheet and there is one more worksheet in the same Excel file. That is also possible. So what is VLOOKUP when we want something to extract from Another sheet is called VLOOKUP. Now, there are total four steps involved in the VLOOKUP. That is what you have to understand. So please don't go with, I'll explain you. With example, all this thing, VLOOKUP value, table array, column index, range lookup. Don't go into all this. I have never learned or seen what is written because I understand the concept. So I'm just trying to explain in simple way. So the first point is we look up. Now here only I'm trying to help you how you have to be more productive. Now understand one by one is equal to one, V, two, L, three, O, O, four, five, U, P, six, seven, open the bracket. We look up. So there are almost nine steps involved. So instead of writing the full form, why don't you just say V, L, can you see the automatic function is, you can see the automatic function, just click on tab. The moment you click on tab, automatically it completes the function name. So instead of investing, we look up, open the bracket, nine steps, just three steps and we look up is ready. Can you see? This is the way you have to be more productive. Of drops by drop becomes an ocean. So this is what the example. So one, now let's go to the second one. Now, simple thing. Here, I want the mobile number of Shankar Rathor. Example, Shankar Rathor. So definitely in that Excel sheet also, there have to be Shankar Rathor. Otherwise, I will not get the data. That is logic. That means what? The common thing, what is available here, that name should also be available in that sheet. So that is common, unique. So when we, we have seen many times when we sign up and do registration, on the website, we always do on mobile number because it cannot be duplicated. No, we'll have the same mobile number and email ID. So these two are unique in case of uh, outside, like mobile number, Aadhaar card, PAN card, driving license. These are very unique. It cannot be duplicated. So we can use that. In case of organization, only one thing is employee code. So employee code is common between everything. So in this case also, I have an employee code and even in this sheet also, there is an employee code, right? So the first step is the name is equal to VLOOKUP, sorry, VLOOKUP. What is the common? So the second step is common. So the common or unique one is employee code. Now we have to separate and close the step by using comma. The moment you 
close the or uh, use the comma the first step is completed now what is the second step now from where we want the data what we want is employee code okay from where we want employee code what we want is we have to go to the sheet from where you want to extract and select the range so the third step is select the range select the range now you have to remember one thing when you select the range always start with the unique one for example if i start with the serial number that is not correct you have to start with the employee code this is the way the computer and the functions work because there the unique one is you have selected employee code so it will first select the employee code and then select the column so you have to select the range but one thing you have to remember is the range should start from the unique one or the common one am i clear the second part the third one is now in the same thing second part we have to do we have to freeze this you know the range we have to freeze this range nowadays the latest version of the uh, excel function already have the dollar sign can you see the dollar sign already there in case if the dollar sign is not there you have to put f click on f4 the moment you click on f4 the dollar signs comes automatically i'll give you an example okay now here if i click can you see the dollar sign has gone okay in case if there is no dollar sign you just have to click on f4 so the dollar sign comes now you will be thinking what is dollar sign dollar sign means it frees the range so the computer will not search outside the range it will search only inside the range continuously till he get the answer so very very important to put the dollar sign but the latest version already have the dollar sign so let's see once the first thing is we look up the formula the second thing is what is the common one so the common one is the employee code now from where we want the data so we have to go to the another sheet and select the range so the third one is select the range very easy but the select the range should start with the unique one that is employee code so now the range is selected now we have to freeze the range that is we have to close the range so here already the dollar sign has come so i don't have to put in case the dollar sign is not there you have to click on f4 automatically it comes now i'll click on comma so that the steps gets completed now the third step very easy here is what you have understand the very important signs key the computer works on numbers and character so the computer now know that i have to select from this range but the answer comes the question comes which column what you want from this range what you want from this range so we have to give a range number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is in the 10th column one can i see i have written the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 can you see the tenth one so we just have to write number 10 and comma that means we have completed very easy so you have selected the range the next question comes which range which one you want i want the column number 10 that's it we have selected the range we have selected the columns now which column you want number 10 tenth number comes under mobile and the last one you don't have to remember anything zero close the bracket zero close the bracket every time very easy enter can you see the mobile number as can now i have to just just select and drag it select drag it is done so i'll explain once again in a very simple way very very easy now let's say instead of 10 if you have written second name has come now let's see is it name yes the second one is name now date of birth is in the ninth column can you see the ninth column now again i'll show you something ki sir do i need to check by writing the serial number like this not required so i'll give you one step suppose if you want to extract many information from one excel sheet then write the number so i give you when you have to use so i'll go one by one so don't worry now let's understand the second part from where i will come to know the number 
10 that is column number 10 so i'll do it once again the first one is we look up the formula the function then what is the common one employ code comma go to the sheet from where i want and select the range from the unique one but here you have to stop so when you select the range how many people can see a small uh, column number has come automatically so please friends look out here when i select the range can you see the number 7 has come automatically out here can you see this 15th row and 7th column so if i go here you can see automatically it is the 10th column so you don't have to count every time by just dragging you will come to know it is number 10 column so if you want only one information then just select one only till 10th only comma 10 comma 0 simple so the range number the column number you can get it from when you do the selection am i clear now now why you have to write the number if you want more data so i'll give you an answer so you can copy the same thing same formula and put it out here definitely the date of birth will come but you want sorry mobile number will come now you want date of birth so you have to go to the sheet and the date of birth is at the number in column so here instead of 10 if you put 9 see the date of birth has come so when sometime it, most of the time it will happen when you do the v lookup or extract the date of birth it will come in the number so what you have to do is select the entire column control 1 and make this format as date go to this date and there is an option date automatically it will get converted into date am i very clear it got converted into date so again i'll tell you the last one please look is equal to v lookup which one is the common one is the employee code from where we want the information go to the excel file another file select the range from the range but you have to remember from the unique one okay and while selecting the range just check where is your answer just go 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 oh my god it is back but don't leave the cursor ah and can you see the 10th column or 9th column now you can select the entire range f4 that is freeze the range freeze the range by using f4 okay now comma i want the 10th one that is 10th column comma zero enter drag it if you want to use date of birth select the same range okay and put it out here but don't do control c and control v huh? don't do that it will not come so select the entire range and again put it out here and you will see the number has come so this is a 10th one but date of birth is on the 9th one so you have to just change the column 9 can you see the date has come so select the range select the column f1 date and whatever format you want you can i hope uh, this one has really helped you and made more simple now just practice 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 thank you so much see you soon.